Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. Yemen's warring parties have reached a preliminary compromise on implementing a ceasefire and pulling out forces from the port city of Hodeida. After three days of talks on a ship, Yemen's government and Houthi rebels have committed to observe a ceasefire while a final deal is being worked out. The United Nations said that challenges remain before a humanitarian aid corridor from Hodeida can be opened. Moving on, Russia has asked Turkey to act against an extremist militia which has seized most of a truce zone in northwest Syria. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said that Russia expects Turkey to fulfill its promise to establish a demilitarized zone in Idlib province. Zakharova said that former al-Qaeda militants were preparing to seize control of the entire area. Russia and Turkey set up the truce zone in Idlib last September to avert a Syrian government assault on rebel forces. Meanwhile, India has agreed to Pakistan's proposal to hold talks next month on establishing the Kartarpur border corridor for Sikh pilgrims. In a tweet, Foreign Ministry spokesman Ravish Kumar said that India would host a Pakistani delegation on March 13th. India also agreed to a second round of talks in Pakistan on the Kartarpur corridor. Pakistan proposed two rounds of talks on March 13th and 28th. India has also proposed that engineers from both countries should hold separate technical talks. Next up, angered by Italy's populist government, France has recalled its ambassador from Rome. In a statement, the foreign ministry said that France has been the target of repeated baseless attacks and outrageous statements. Paris acted after Italy's Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio met members of France's Yellow Vest movement earlier this week. Italy's other Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini has said that he would be happy to meet France's President Emmanuel Macron to reset relations. In another development, European Union and Latin American countries have called for free and transparent elections in Venezuela to end the political crisis. Meeting in Uruguay, the international contact group said that it was committed to finding a peaceful, democratic way out of the power struggle in Venezuela. The US has criticized the group for seeking dialogue with President Nicolas Maduro. And in an unprecedented move, the sister of Thailand's king will run for prime minister in general elections on March 24th. Princess Yubol Ratana Rajakanya will represent the opposition Thai Raksa Chart Party. She will contest the elections against the prime minister of Thailand's military government, General Prayut Chan O Cha. That was all for the moment. Thank you for watching in this news. Stay with us.